I spent 20 years with Container Corporation of America, which is a Chicago-based uh, company. I spent time in Europe and got exposed to great beer, which had something in the back of my mind. That, that's kind of how I got, in, got, in, got involved in the whole thing and told my wife that this was my chance to really go off and do something on my own. I read a magazine article on a plane about uh, small little breweries in California. I came back to Chicago and through one of the jobs that I had, I had we were allied members of the brewing industry. So I called up uh, the people in the brewing industry and asked to see all the data on beer production and everything like that. And I saw that imports were growing and everything like that. And it kind of struck back with, well, we don't have we don't have as much variety here as they do elsewhere. And sounds like a great thing to do. I jumped into the deep end of the pool and opened Goose Island. Through the original source that I talked to, the Beer Institute, they told me about uh, a gentleman that just retired that was opening a consulting business, Carl Strauss. And Carl Strauss was my mentor. He's the guy that I called up. I was his first customer. He helped me all the way through, and uh, uh, I owe a great debt to uh, Carl. Carl was uh, Carl helped me so so much. I said, you know, I need a brewer, and he said, uh, he said, well, I'll, don't worry, we'll we'll do that. We can we can hire a brewer. That's not going to be a problem. And so we went and we traveled and we visited a lot of places. But uh, I said, come on, we're getting close. I need a brewer, and he said, well, I got two or three names, and. My son Greg was at the University of Iowa, and he, you know I kept him up to date a little bit what I was doing. And he says, "You got to talk to this guy that's out here in Amana, Victor Asimovich." And that was one of the names that Carl came up with. And so I had two people telling me something, and that's who I hired. <laughs>